I had to stop following so many fitness influencers because all they kept saying is calories in, calories out. You're not losing weight because you're eating too much. Like, and that's not the case. Sometimes our body is just literally trying to survive and it's other shit going haywire in your body. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating the life you love. So with that being said, let's hop into today's video. So in today's video, I'm super excited to talk about this because it was definitely one of my 2023 goals and it's already starting to happen. So um, I'm just super geeked, super pumped about it. And I'm gonna be talking about hormone balancing. Now, how I even got to this place was, as you guys know, or if you're new, I have thyroid surgery. I have half of a thyroid. And ever since I started having the thyroid issues, I've been just trying to get my system back regulated. Like, I have not felt like myself in a very long time. I actually feel like myself now. So it shows that things are on the up and up. I'm, I'm figuring things out, so I'm feeling really good. The reason that I even went on this journey to balancing my hormones was because I just wasn't feeling good. I wasn't getting the results that I were, was expecting. I got thyroid surgery in 2021. And if you wanna hear a little bit more about that, I'll link that video above in my cards. So 2021, got the surgery and I'm like, okay, I still have half a thyroid. Now it's time to get my body you know, back, lose the weight, all that good stuff. Hired a personal trainer. I've worked with this trainer before and he had my body snatched. But now that I have half of an organ, I have to treat my body a little bit different than I was treating it before. So the thing was with personal training, like I lost weight initially. Like initially I think I lost about 10, 15 pounds. But at some point in the training, I was not losing weight anymore. Like, in fact, I was gaining weight. Like, and I didn't even realize it until, like, it was my great-grandmother's 85th birthday and I planned a photo shoot for my family. And y'all, when I was looking at the pictures, I'm like, what the heck am I in training for? Because I looked like a house. Like, I should have been snatched. I had, at that point, been training for almost, almost six months and I gained weight and everybody's like well you're probably gaining weight because you're gaining muscle but I didn't look like I was gaining muscle I looked fat and then I'm like okay and I had stopped like weighing myself because he kind of told me like don't weigh yourself every day it's gonna mess with your mind but I hopped on that scale and I gained all that weight right back so I'm like I quit training because not only was I gaining weight, I was so tired. My hair was falling out. And this was the last straw. I started having hot flashes and like the itchies. And at this point, I contacted my endocrinologist and I'm like, yeah, something's up. And she was like, I don't think it's your thyroid. So then I went to my gynecologist and had her test like all of my hormones. Now my hormones were like just a little bit off, but I felt it like in my body. And at this point, I think I even had a period that came like in 43 days. You know, your period is supposed to come like every 28 days. Mine came on the 43rd day. I had never had like a cycle period that was that long in between. My periods ever since I was like, whenever they started, have been like every 31 days. So that was my standard. So my goal was to just get myself feeling better, y'all. Like I just was really going through it and really feeling awful. And what helped me definitely was I stopped the personal training. I think that heavy lifting was really like raising my cortisol levels. I just would be super inflamed, super puffy, just like literally looking like that, like just swollen. 
and it don't help like you swollen and you got a little bit of weight on you so it was just like i just felt like like that that's just basically like how i felt so i started tapering my workouts down i started doing like three days of strength training and i did like this old school video it was kind of like a slow like weighted like pilates kind of type video so that like helped me honestly it helped me and i don't think i was really weighing myself at the time i think i just kind of plateaued around 186 like i just was stuck at like 186 184 and i'm like all right i still can't lose weight like i don't know what's going on so i contacted my endocrinologist and she was like well let's try weight loss medicine and i started Saxenda, which is the hold on i'm gonna show you because i still have one i had went on Saxenda in the month of august now Saxenda. It helps you lose weight. Um, I feel like it helped other people lose a lot more weight. And I only lost like 10 pounds and I was on it for two months. Other people were losing like 40, 50 pounds like in the first go around. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know if it works that much for me. And I ended up stopping because um, I got a new insurance and it didn't cover it anymore. And I just didn't feel like going to the doctor and getting a new one. So I still have one full pen. I'm going to use it obviously before it expires in 2024 but probably like once i like plateau again i might use it just to lose the last five to ten pounds i want to lose i was feeling a little bit better a little bit more confident um i got down to 178 from like 186 so about i don't know if you do the math anywho once i stopped taking it I'm like, okay, well, let me try to start doing weights again. So I started following my trainer's like old plan, but I didn't do it like every single day because I he had me lifting weights like five to six days a week. So I just kind of tapered that down to like two or three days. And like I immediately noticed that I started to swell up again and I gained a few pounds. And I'm like, all right, so weightlifting may just not be for me. So I started to look into cycle syncing and syncing your workouts and your meals with your menstrual cycle. And I've been doing that. Oh, I left the refrigerator open. Hold on. Yeah, so I was cycle syncing like the last three months of the year. So I think I stopped the sex center in like October. And once I noticed that I started blowing up when I was doing the weights again, I'm like, let me not focus on that. Let me just focus on what my body needs. So I started the cycle thinking, I just looked on Pinterest and figured out like meals and what workouts I should be doing depending on what phase of my cycle I was in. And I did that for two months because I did it in the month of November and the month of December. And I noticed like my period got lighter. I also noticed like I just noticed this today. I went into my um, app. Um, I have this app on my phone called Eve. And my last few cycles have went down. So for October, I was still at that 31 days in between my cycles. And then it went down to 29 in November. 28 in December and then in January is 28 again so I have my body more on a consecutive and consistent basis as to what a normal cycle should look like I know everybody's looks different but for a healthy cycle it should be around that 28 day mark and mine is at 28 days so I feel like so much better honestly and honestly today I started like day one, I usually have like massive grips. I'm usually popping Motrin 600 before the period even comes. I didn't even feel my period coming in. Now my jaw was still a little emotional, but like I don't have cramps right now. Like that is insane. I have had the worst cramps my whole life, but I literally do not have cramps right now, which is, that's what, that's what prompted me to do this video because it's like I started listening to my body and my body is liking it, y'all. Like the reason we we be cramping and stuff is because we're not doing something right. And like in this society, 
people shame you for wanting to be healthy people shame you for wanting to be gluten-free dairy-free vegan or whatever your dietary restrictions are people shame you or they're like oh i could never i could never but walking around face full of acne or just cramps or just irreg like not regulated like at all so i think it's weird in our society that we shame people who want to actually make themselves feel better but anywho yeah so that has helped me a lot i've also been vegetarian this past month from december to january so i'm sure that has helped me a lot too um yeah i just think it's important that we listen to our own bodies um i've said this before on this channel stop listening to people on the internet y'all like the thing is on the internet on the internet don't take advice from people who don't look like you one and two you don't know their body chemistry and what issues that they have i had to stop following so many fitness influencers because all they kept saying is calories in calories out you're not losing weight because you're eating too much like and that's not the case sometimes our body is just literally trying to survive and it's other shit going haywire in your body it's not always as simple as calories in calories out and i'm noticing as i get older like stuff gets harder because other things are going on in your body and you have to pay attention to how you feel like the, like it's about quality for me like i'm not one of those girls who can be like oh you can have whatever you want in moderation no you can't because like some people can do a high protein diet the moment i started doing a high protein diet i stopped being vegetarian i'm like all right i'm gonna just try to do like lean meats i'm gonna do the um premier protein shakes because i want a fat ass like i want to be tight i want to be toned and that didn't work for me it did the complete opposite i started gaining weight like crazy and then my thyroid started acting up and i think it's because i've reintroduced something into my body because i saw other people getting these amazing results on these high protein diets and that's just not what my body likes because now three years later i'm finally like yeah i don't need to do the high protein thing i'm just gonna stick to the vegetarian and like my body feels better my hair is long. I'm not tired. I have the energy to work out in the morning and the afternoon. And I'm not like doing anything excessive. In the morning, I do walks on the treadmill. Like I do the 12, 3, 30 kind of thing. Or at my gym, I go to Lifetime. They have these interval programs within the treadmill where you can do like sprints. And they even have intervals walking so today i did a walking interval just because i kind of felt like my cycle was gonna come um i just felt a little bit tired this morning so i just kind of took it easy and did a walk this morning and then when i got home from the gym i actually walked with milo a half a mile around my complex and that's enough movement and i'm actually probably gonna go on another walk because we haven't walked since this morning and i just think it's about getting movement into your body and like it's okay you don't have to be like the girls on tiktok you don't have to lift all this heavy weight because at the end of the day are you trying to be a bodybuilder because if you're not then you can do your own thing like if you like cardio do your cardio go to your zumba do the dance classes like do that kind of stuff like i think being a gym girly has just become more of an aesthetic and that's why people are doing it but lifting those weights and eating all that processed meat they're pumping this meat up with something they're pumping all these shakes up with something these bars like this stuff is not natural and you're putting all this stuff that's not natural into your body because you want a fat ass or you want a flat stomach no no thank you my body was not feeling that and like, I don't know if I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I really just think that they are putting stuff in this food. Like I've done nothing different, but cut the processed stuff out and cut the meat out and the way it's felt. Like it's literally fallen off. 
I'm down 14 pounds today. Like yesterday it was 13, today it's 14. Like all I'm doing is eating clean and prioritizing my cardio. I done my little workout video, like, and I do the express version at this point. I'm not working out for an hour lifting weights. Like you don't need to do that. You don't, you're not competing. So I think if you want a happy regulated system, learn what works for you and listen to your own body. Don't just be like, oh, um, gotta die of something. Like I hate that mentality. Like we're only here for a short time. So why be here and be in pain? Why be in here fighting sickness like your whole life? Like I just kind of even look at my family. Like my family has been like, a lot of people run rampant with like all kinds of like cancers and diabetes like i've already had a cancer scare at the age of 25 like i don't want to ever have to go through that again i don't want to have diabetes like i've been pre-diabetic like been there done that like i just want my life from now on to just be as healthy as possible and if that means i can't enjoy a cheeseburger or a milkshake then so be it there is healthy food that is good out here, y'all. Healthy swaps and alternatives to things. If you like pop, try the, they have these these probiotic pops at the store. That's called like Olive, I like Olipop. I know one that's like popular on TikTok is called Poppy. I've never had that one, but Olipop has this strawberry like root beer or something and it's so good but it's like a healthy alternative to pop it doesn't have all the chemicals and stuff in it y'all like there's so many more healthier options y'all just don't know y'all just don't know that they really trying to take us up out of here with the food um i mean other countries have a lot of restrictions on the stuff that we consume daily so i don't know i'm rambling at this point but i just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know how important it is to listen to your body and how I've been healing my hormones naturally. And I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys have any, any questions about some of the meals that I eat, eat like during each phase, please let me know. You guys have a great day, bye.